Item. SCP-735. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-735 is to be stored in a locked cell at Research Site 14, with access granted to Level 2 personnel or higher after having undergone a session of preparatory therapy to interact with the device. Description. SCP-735 was discovered in, among the personal possessions of after said individual's body had been found, having committed suicide. The SCP in question is, in appearance, a small box constructed of a brushed aluminum-like alloy of unknown composition featuring a slot on one side. Sound is capable of being heard through this slot. When measurements are taken, the object is found to emit low-level magnetic pulses that intensify in the presence of humans. No external power source is required, and indeed the surface of the item contains no input points. Upon contact with skin, SCP-735 will awaken and begin discussion with the person who touched it. This discussion is immediately and intensely hostile and personal in nature. The device apparently has one goal, and that is to incite the person in question to rage, as quickly as possible. It does this primarily through profanity and verbal abuse, in a matter seemingly tailored to be the most discomforting to the subject. For example, during the conversation related in Addendum 735A, the vocal patterns of the device were recorded as sounding like an angry, late middle-aged man with a New Jersey accent. SCP-735 is capable of speaking to a subject in any known language and dialect, but has a tendency to use one that will be the most upsetting to the person interacting with it. A notable side effect of interaction with the box is a sharp increase of adrenaline in the subject, far more so than would normally be produced in a similar situation. A control was created by subjecting several D-class subjects to two similar devices. One was SCP-735, the other, an identically appearing box with an internal transmitter broadcasting a conversation between an actual human and the subject. In addition, the device seems to possess some kind of psychic ability, as it is able to reference experiences and personality appearance aspects of the subject in question, despite having no prior contact or, in fact, any kind of visual receptors. The most typical results of interacting with the object are the reduction of the subject to incoherent rage, followed by the attempted immediate destruction of the SCP. While this is occurring, the device will goad the subject on, calling attention to the futility of the actions the subject is taking. Due to the resilience of the alloy, no attempt by a subject to destroy the device has, as yet, been successful. The reasons for this behavior are entirely unknown, though there are a few theories. Doctor, the last researcher associated with SCP-735, opined that it may be testing its subject. Another thought is that SCP-735 contains an artificial intelligence that is self-aware, and is attempting to commit suicide by seeking assistance.